Hi everyone, so it's time for another monthly green favorites video and let's jump right into it. I don't have a product for you this month, but I do have an app. It's called Done Good, and basically it's an eco and ethical shopping app, as well as a browser extension. It has a lot of different brands, and you can filter by criteria like eco-friendly, vegan, empowers workers, recycled and upcycled materials. Now a lot of the brands are American, so it unfortunately isn't as useful if you live outside of North America. I really like the browser extension. Basically, if you type anything into your search program, it will give you suggestions with the results that come up. For example, if you type yoga pants into your search bar, It'll give you the regular results, but then Done Good will give you other suggestions of different brands to check out. I had a chat with one of the owners, and they're a really passionate company that are constantly looking at ways to improve. And I think it's just so awesome to have programs like this that help make conscious shopping easier. Next, the slow fashion brand I want to talk about is Neo Threads, and they are an American based brand who transforms discarded clothing into unique pieces. They add embroidery and rework and update pieces and just make really unique special pieces out of clothes that would otherwise be thrown away. As you guys know, I love brands that recycle and upcycle clothes, so I highly recommend checking them out. Next, the book I'm currently reading is Slow Fashion by Sophia Mini, and I'm not super far into it, but I'm already really enjoying it. If you guys don't know who Sophia Mini is, she's the creator of People Tree and really a pioneer when it comes to fair trade and ethical fashion. So it's a great book all about the fashion industry and sustainable businesses and how fashion and sustainability comes together. So if you're interested in learning more about sustainable and ethical fashion, it's a good read. Next, the new thing I learned this month is about our emotions and how they're based on context. I was listening to the podcast Invisibilia, which is an amazing podcast, and the first episode of their newest season was all about emotions and how we think that we share all of these emotions with everyone in the world, but we actually only share about four base emotions, which are unpleasant feelings, pleasant feelings, arousal, and calmness. And a lot of the other emotions that we think are universal are actually things that we've learned and are based on how you contextualize them. So for example, let's say you're really little and you see somebody trip in front of a group of people and someone else says, oh, they must feel so embarrassed. You start to learn that this kind of action or situation results in a feeling of embarrassment. And based on a bunch of other contexts, you start to develop what this feeling of embarrassment means and looks like. Whereas maybe if you were in a different culture or a different place and this idea of embarrassment wasn't associated with anything like that, then if that happened to you, if you tripped and fell, you actually wouldn't feel embarrassment if you hadn't been taught to feel embarrassment, if that makes sense. And this means you can also retrain and recontextualize the emotions you feel. And what made me so excited about this is that it means that we can change the way we feel about shopping and fast fashion and this joy that you get from buying a ton of new things or the way people see shopping as therapy or all of these other emotions that relate to buying stuff and our wardrobes and the way we feel about our clothes and maybe feeling like we constantly need to keep up with trends. All of those emotions can be changed. Finally, the blog I want to share with you is Lifestyle Justice, written by Hannah Thiessen, and she has a ton of insightful posts and a lot of experience and knowledge around ethical fashion. It's a great blog. I often feel inspired by her posts, and I really recommend checking it out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I never really ask for that because I think it's a little weird, but it apparently really helps out the video, helps it rank better in searches. So if you like any of my videos, giving them a thumbs up really helps me out. Thanks for watching and thank you so much to those of you supporting me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.